Seems like you just cannot get away from the coughing, the sneezing, and the fever. Every week, it seems there is something new going around. Health reporter Val Lego lets us know what's out there in this week's What's the Crud? It seems like every week there's a new virus going around now that it's cold and flu season. 13 is on your side to give you the best up-to-date information on the virus of the week. And Elizabeth Suing, a physician assistant from Spectrum Health Now, is here. What are you seeing the most of? Spectrum Health Now, that's the tell doc people call in. They've got symptoms. You are seeing what? Yes, this past weekend I worked Saturday and Sunday. We are seeing a ton of pink eye. Wow, okay, very contagious. Very contagious. And so what are some of the symptoms? Yeah, so usually you'll wake up in the morning, your eye might be matted shut to the point where you need to take a washcloth, wipe off all that gunk from it. Once you get that wiped off, you'll notice your eye, the white part of your eye is very red. Lots of yellow, green, copious drainage coming from that eye. Usually one eye, although kids are notorious for rubbing and then rubbing, so they get it in both eyes. So you're gonna be on antibiotics then? Yes, antibiotic drops. Okay, and the kids need to take them for 24 hours before they can go back to school? Yes, most schools and most daycares require them to be on them for 24 hours before they come back so that we're not spreading it to everybody else. And and so if you have a kiddo in the, in the house that has pink eye, they can spread it to the rest of the family members. Oh yes, because they are notorious for touching their eyes and then touching everyone and everything. All right, so that's what you're seeing the most of this week. Although I feel like with the coronavirus, uh, in possibly in Michigan, people are a little concerned about it, sure. but we really need to be worried about the flu more so than the coronavirus. Yes, the flu is going to affect way more people than the coronavirus, at least right now. Right, and we're seeing cases start to uptick a little bit. Yes, very much so. And it's never too late to get that flu shot. Of course, that's what's the crud for this week. I've got information for you on 13onyourside.com.